Hi guys, I'm here to do a makeup tutorial today. It's been like a month or two months since I've actually like did some makeup for you guys. So today we're going to be doing a makeup look inspired by earrings and these are the earrings we are going to be working with today. These are from Geardrobe and Geardrobe is a small business that sells handcrafted jewelry and accessories that are made by Indian artisans and these artists create these by hand. No machine, nothing. It's 100% environmentally friendly. So not only are they creating environmentally friendly accessories in jewelry but they are supporting Indian artisans that handcraft these like by hand like I'm just really shocked that this is created by hand but they're supporting them and they're giving them a platform to allow their artistry to be shown worldwide so if you haven't checked out Geardrobe or if you never heard of it I think you should check out their website I have their website on the screen below and I also have it in the description box below make sure you check them out but we're gonna get into this video of doing my makeup look inspired by these earrings I already have an amazing look in mind and I can't wait to show you guys so let's get right into this video Hey loves, I know it's been a minute, but I'm back at it again. And of course, we're gonna start off with our LA Girl Pro Concealer in flat white, and we're gonna use this to prime our eyes. Priming our eyes allows the colors to really show and be pigmented on our skin, especially if you're a dark skin girl. Going into this turquoise shade and we're patting it into our skin. You wanna drag this out since we are doing a kind of cat eye look today. So you wanna drag it out past your eyebrow or just the tip of your eyebrow depending on how far you want it to come out. And just gonna continue to build this up until it's to your liking. I like to make sure that mine is super, super dark. Then I went in with this turquoise shade in the Makeup Revolution palette, and this is their Chill palette. I'm just adding that right to the top of it. This is a lot lighter than the other turquoise shade. You can't really see it on this camera, but it is. And then we're going into this dark blackish gray shade, and we're just plopping that into the corner. As you can see, I changed the brush, and I'm using more blending motions than just patting motions and you're going to really blend this into your crease and make sure that it's nice and well blended blending is your best friend because you really don't want your eyeshadow to look like you just plopped it onto your eye so i'm going to continue to blend until it is well blended and to my liking Once we're done blending the black into our eye, then we're going in with this white shade and we're going to use this to blend out the turquoise. So you want to use blending and patting motions because since white is such a light color, you want to make sure that you build it up and then blend it out. So that's what I'm doing. You'll see me patting and blending it out at the same time. So I'm really building this color up so that it looks nice and seamless and then I'm just going to blend it out. Then I went back into the turquoise shade. Tur I said that funny turquoise shade to try to blend this out a little bit more so it looks nice and blended it takes a lot of blending especially when you're working with these type of colors or bright colors or pigmented colors so make sure that you're blending 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 is literally your best friend if you want to get into doing nice makeup and then I'm just using a makeup wipe to wipe off my eyelids for the concealer just to prep them a little bit before I go in with concealer and cut the crease Now I'm going in with the flat white concealer and we're going to use this to cut my crease. I like to pack up a lot of it on my lid of my eye just so it's there when I'm ready to cut my crease. It makes it easier because the more the merrier and it really does help. And of course when you're done you can always blend it out. But I just want to focus on that part so you guys can have like an easier technique to cutting your crease. So once you pack it on your eyelid then you'll have extra concealer to go back to and to help you cut the crease. Especially when you're doing a cat eye or winged out um, cut crease. 
And like I mentioned earlier, you want to make sure that you pat the concealer down once you are done cutting your crease. This makes it easier to apply um, eyeshadow onto the cut crease and to make sure that the eyeshadow is well pigmented. If you don't do this, it can get really messy really fast and mess up the other colors that you apply onto the concealer. Now I'm going into the black again and I'm just going to do little circles. This was really random. I was just looking for a way to spice up the look a little bit because I had this vision in my head but I wasn't sure how I wanted to come out. So you're just going to do two, three, four, however many circles you want to on your eyelids and you're just going to pat it on. Make sure it's nice and pigmented and then I'm going in with that dark green shade from the Makeup Revolution palette and I'm applying this around the black Shape. And it's okay if you get it on top of the black because you already have that back lined out for you. So just make sure that you're applying the green around as much as you possibly can. And then once you're done, we're going to go back in with the black and we're going to just fill it in a little bit. And you'll see that when that part comes up. So this is how it looks so far with just the two colors that we use, which is the dark green and the black. Now we're going in with that same light green turquoise shade that we used for our cut crease. And we're just going to apply that around the dark green. Now use this skinny, fluffy brush to really be able to blend it in because I want it to look seamless. I want it to look like it went from black to green, real natural, almost to the point where you can't really see the dark green, but you can. And then I'm going to go back in with the black and just touch up that middle corner. So since these circles were really close together, you want to make sure that they're not really touching because you want them to be their own individual circles and you don't want them to look like they're all blended together. So try your best so they don't touch. I try my best, but some of them did end up touching. And then I'll show you guys a hack to fixing that later in this video. So now I'm taking this white shadow from the same Glitz Cosmetics palette and you're just going to set the parts of the concealer that um, didn't, don't have any shadow on it. And as you can see, I'm, I'm going in between the circles to kind of divide them with that white color. So that's how we're going to divide the circles from one another just by using the white, the white shadow to um, divide each one of them. And I also add another circle onto this eye as you can see because that was not here in the other clip. Um, but yeah, you just want to use this white just to divide them a little bit. It's okay if it gets onto the turquoise area and makes it look even more better. Once we're done with that, we're going to use this on the outline of the cut crease. This is a silver glitter. Um, it's pretty washed out. So what I did was I add some more silver glitter to it. And this is what you guys are like seeing me do right now. I'm adding just regular silver glitter. And if you don't have like a silver glitter liner like this one, you can use NYX glitter primer and um glitter so once you're done i'm gonna clean up the ends of my eyeshadow i want it to be really cat eyes so i want to drag it upwards and clean it up and then i'm going in with the revlon pen this is a sharp line pen in black is black and i'm using this to draw a wing as you can see for the front part of this cat eye, I'm ma really making the front part pointed and sharpening that um, front area. And then I'm going to go in with the same glitter liner and I'm just going to line the wing, the top part of the wing with the glitter. So we're going to have glitter on top of the wing and glitter on top of the crease to really jazz up the look and give it that extra oomph. Girl, do you see this? That we have on our lashes i'm going in with my milk makeup hydro grip primer and i'm applying this all over my face really making sure that i'm moisturizing the skin with it and then i'm going in with my revlon color stay foundation and cappuccino and i also add a little bit of mocha in there to really help it um become more like my skin tone because i felt like this one was a little bit too light for my skin tone Also, if you have concealer above your eyebrow, make sure that you're blending it out. You know a girl never loves highlighted eyebrows. It's not trending. It's not cute. So make sure that you're blending out that upper eyebrow concealer. Then I'm going into my Revlon Colorstay Concealer in Nutmeg. You want to focus in the front part of your eye, in the wing of your eye. 
um this really helps lift up your face and give you that snatched look um also apply some around my mouth of course for hyperpigmentation and also my forehead just a little bit of my forehead because i don't like a lot of concealer on my forehead and as you can see i'm finishing up my eye con concealer and I also like to put it on the sides of my nose because that really helps me give you this snatched nose contour. And now I'm contouring my nose and the sides of my cheeks. Um, this is something new I started, but I really like how this makes my face look. So yeah, and now I'm using a damp beauty blender to really blend this concealer out. Once you're done blending, you want to set your concealer with some powder. I'm using the S1 Translucent Powder. This is super affordable and beginner friendly. So I'm using that to set my under eyes, nose, forehead, chin. And you can also set under your contour. But for this look, I decided not to because that gives you a more chiseled look. And I feel like I'm already being super dramatic with this eye look. So I didn't do that. But normally I would. And I'm also focusing on the corner of my nose contour so we can get that snatched nose look. I'm just going into my foundation powder and dusting off the Airspun Translucent Powder. And once I'm done, I'm going to contour, but I don't think I show you guys me contouring. So you're just going to see me applying my Berry Powder Go highlights onto my cheekbones, nose, um, cupid's bow, and eyebrow bone, I believe. After applying the brow highlight, since it's super harsh, you want to go in with that white shadow and just blend it out a little bit. And now I'm going in to the same turquoise shade that I use for my eyes in the Makeup Revolution palette. And I'm applying that under my eyes. And now I'm going in with this silver glitter from the Makeup Revolution palette and I'm applying it right under that cat eye, right in the beginning of my eye, under the cat eye, just to give it that extra spice. I also put on some um, white eyeliner, as you can see, and I'm putting on some mascara. So this is basically the end of the look. I didn't record my lips or anything, but I normally use the same um, lip gloss and lipstick ratio that I use in my other videos. But yeah, we're going to snap on these earrings. And I'm going to show you guys how it looks all together. And that's basically it for this video. If you enjoyed this video, make sure that you give me a big thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel. And put on the notification bell on so you don't miss out on all of this. I will be posting more. And as always, remember to be beautiful and love yourself.